Something major happened over the last 24 hours. It equates to the tune of $10 trillion worth of assets, possibly having access to crypto here in the near, near future. Now, I love this news. I love the possibility of a bunch of capital flowing into crypto, but at the same time, it gives me a little bit of pause, and I want to talk about this with you guys. By now, I'm sure you've seen the news. BlackRock officially filing for spot Bitcoin ETFs. Now, asset management giant BlackRock took the first steps Thursday to launch a spot Bitcoin exchange traded fund, which has long been a point of contention between crypto advocates and federal regulators. The crypto market took this news yesterday and it ran with it. In fact, you know, Shiba Inu price obviously jumped, uh, what, up 2.9% on the 24 hour. We saw BTC back up above 25.5. Basically, the whole crypto market was taking this as positive news. Now, the reason why this is bullish for crypto is because it's a lot of capital that would be flowing into the crypto market. A lot of capital that could essentially cause a Bitcoin bull run or possibly even trigger the bull market, right? This would be a great sign for all of crypto. Now, the reason why I have pause when it comes to this is others have tried before to do this same exact thing and they've all failed. Okay, the SEC pushes back very hard when it comes to these Bitcoin ETFs. The reasons they've cited in the past is they're, you know, they've designed it to prevent fraudulent and manipulative acts and practices to protect investors and public interest because the underlying spot Bitcoin market is too opaque. They're saying that there's not enough clarity. Now, obviously, this would be a, a big deal because even, you know, big asset managers like Grayscale, for example, are still entwined in this legal battle with the SEC to try to be able to do this, right? The Grayscale Bitcoin Trust is trying to become an ETF, and we're expecting a decision later this year. Now, if for whatever reason the SEC approves this and allows it, it proves that there's huge, huge bias in the SEC. And it likely means that they're bought and paid for, okay? As always, we don't exactly know what's going on, but there's been rumors, obviously, of this for, for quite some time. We know that BlackRock has wanted to get into crypto, as well as many others. There's these big, big amounts of capital that have been sitting on the sidelines waiting to flow in, all right? If you guys haven't been paying attention to this, it's been here, you know, for over a year now. I remember back when I first started, you know, talking about, or creating content, rather, and this sort of stuff was beginning to happen. They've been waiting for these, these, you know, the, for this market to come down. They've been waiting for the right opportunity to do it. And now it's presenting itself. And if the SEC approves this, guys, then the SEC is 100% corrupt and needs to be restructured. I, I think if this does happen, we'd see some stuff happen in Congress very quick. Now, what also made me kind of scratch my head is that they're going to be using uh, Coinbase as a custodian for this ETF. Now I understand, I believe they have a, a partnership. Yeah, they have a strategic partnership with Coinbase now, which does kind of make sense. But with the regulatory scrutiny that Coinbase is falling under right now, again, that kind of makes me scratch my head as well. And then at that point, does the SEC turn around then and allow you know Coinbase to continue unimpeded? Do they, you know, drop the lawsuit against Coinbase? I don't know, right? There's a lot of there's a lot of questions still here. The companies announced last year that Aladdin, BlackRock's uh, institutional investment platform would be connected to Coinbase Prime for crypto trading and custody. So there you have it, guys. This is the, the big news, the $10 trillion, I guess, rock in the ship that we, uh, that we saw yesterday. And I'll be curious to see how long this takes. You know, we're going to obviously watch this very closely, see if there's any more news that comes out here, you know, over the coming months. But let me know. Let me know if you guys think that this is bullish for crypto, bearish for crypto, or if you think that this could cause a complete breakdown of the regulating bodies that are trying to control crypto at this time. But I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely show your support below. Hope you guys have a great Friday and I hope to catch you in the next one. Take care.